Hey guys, this is AWOL6192. I just wanted to make a 100 subscriber special video. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer than just like the usual minute to minute and a half that I do. Um, like most YouTubers know that you have to make like a 10 to 11 minute video in order to get monetized. You also have to have 10,000 subscribers, but I'm not a huge YouTuber by any means, but I wanted to make this special because... I never thought I'd reach 100 subscribers. I never thought I'd have so many views on the videos that I have out right now. I wanted to jump into something um, for the special video though. Uh, so thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to all the viewers who viewed. Um, there's a couple of people who know me. If you know me personally, you can still comment and I'll definitely heart your comment. But anyways, um, I wanted to jump into something that Apple has made. Um, and I think it's really awesome. If you're an Apple person, or even if you're not, um, what I'm about to talk about is really great. So it's called Apple One, um, and Android people are going to cringe right away as soon as they hear Apple. So if you don't want to watch the video, you don't have to, but um, this is really awesome. So in order to get it, what you do is go on your settings. Um, you go into your iCloud subscriptions. And then there will be an option in here. I'm already subscribed to Apple One. It just came out uh, last week, the week of the 23rd. So there's Apple One. Um, I got the Premiere. I'll go over the different plans. So the individual plan is definitely worth it if you're the only person in your family that has an iPhone or you want to stay as an individual for your iCloud account instead of sharing with a family it's definitely worth it. Um, it's only 15 bucks a month. You get Apple Music, Apple TV+, Plus, Apple Arcade, and you get 50 gigabytes of storage for your iCloud. Um, and if you're a person that takes a bunch of photos and videos, especially in 4K, um, you might want to go to the family plan because it'll bump up your storage. Because here's the thing. Close out of that, go to family. You get the same thing except you're bumped up to 200 gigabytes. So you're paying an extra $4.95 before tax um, when you get that 200 gigabytes. So I think that's worth it, definitely. And not only that, you get to share up to five people, I believe, five other people to add to your iCloud account if you want to. Um, and the Premiere, I think, is amazing. I actually do share with all my family. Um, I got one or two friends. So here's what it is. You got Apple Music, Apple TV+, Plus, Apple Arcade, two terabytes of storage on iCloud. So your whole family can take as many pictures or videos, especially in 4K or the new HDR, if you have the 12 Pro or the 12 Pro Max, it's going to be really great. Um, and then Apple News+, Plus. Um, is included as well. So you get all the magazines, um, they're audio and readable. I think it's really great because I was paying, I believe, $10 a month for storage to have the two terabytes alone. And then $19.95 already for the Apple Music sharing for a family. So all that was $30 for me already. But $30 with all this extra stuff included is worth it. And it may seem like it's a hefty price, but the utilization that you get out of it, it just, like, it outbalances what, you know, having that feeling that you're paying a lot for a subscription. Because Apple One may be one subscription, but you have so much in it that you can have. Um... And yes, I like my Pocket Edition <laughs> Realms and my Disney Plus. So let's get into the Apple Music. Um, let me get out of the music I was listening to here. So I love Disney music. Um, I like remixes of things. Remixes are really awesome. But in order to use Apple Music, all you got to do is go down into your music app and then go to search 
and before you are subscribed to Apple Music, it will tell you that you can get a subscription on the screen instead of this, because I'm already subscribed, it won't say it yet. But if you want to do the three months free or get Apple One, I highly recommend Apple One, because you're going to get so much with it. But to use the Apple Music, do not go to iTunes, because if you go to iTunes, you search for anything on here, um, you want to download it, it's going to cost money. Because what you're doing is instead of per like purchasing a subscription to all the music that's available from Apple, you're going to buy individual or album music. So you don't want to do that. If you're already subscribed to Apple Music, go to the music app, go to search, and just search in anything you want. You can even just search a genre in general. Search that. It'll have playlists and individual music on here. Um, so you can search for anything, all, all music ever really is on here. And if you want to download something, let's go on here. I'm just going to download something random. Um, if you want to download something by a playlist, you can tap this add button up here at the top, but that will add the whole playlist. But if you want individual songs off here, you just do plus, and then it should download automatically for you. Then at the bottom, you go to library, and there's the song, and it's downloaded. And you can play it. But yeah, super easy to use Apple Music. And that's the one thing Apple doesn't do is, like, explain how to use their stuff except for on their YouTube channel. Um, they might explain this, but it's so brief, it's it's almost like they oversimplify it. So it's good to have a video like this out there. Um, the radio, I've never really gotten into, but these are, like, just different music artists. It's kind of like a Pandora without having the commercials in the between but anyways so that's that you go into apple news if you want to get all of the magazines or whatever with a subscription um here's news plus that's what you want to go to you can go to featured you can look up all the popular ones um national geographic uh new yorker new york magazine vanity fair all that kind of stuff. Pe I like People Magazine. I'm actually going to follow that now. Anyways, you know, easy stuff to get into. You just kind of play with it a little bit. Um, there's some audio stuff in here too. And it's just like listening to an Audible book. But, you know, there's a lot of subjective views out there because it's a magazine. <laughs> um, so the other thing is... If you're subscribed to Apple TV Plus, that's going to be on your Apple TV. Um, I can make a video on that later on. If you want to see a video of it, I can try to make a video of it later on. I just need some feedback on that because I don't know if there's enough people who care enough to actually view that a bunch. Um, but anyways, so that's just kind of a brief look into what that new subscription is going to do for you on Apple One. Um, going into iCloud, you can see that the storage is, like, right now mine's at 204.4 gigabytes. It says of 4 terabytes, so I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, well, um, so in the subscriptions, it will kind of tell you what's going on with it. If I can go into my, e well, I don't need to go into my email, but basically when you're subscribed and you get the email for it, it will tell you that if you're in the middle of a subscription currently, it will include it into the next renewal date for your Apple One subscription. So everything kind of gets 
molded into that Apple One. So you don't have to worry about canceling a subscription, which is what I was kind of trying to do with the Apple Music, but it already told me that it's going to mold it into that Apple One subscription. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys like my channel. Um, I haven't really done much with it. I just have clouds for background. Uh, I really like text, so I'm going to change it here. These are my most viewed videos up here. Um, I don't know how I got 21,000 views for an Apple Watch Series 3. It must be the most popular Apple Watch still out there, but honestly, um, you should probably switch to an Apple Watch SE. It's going to have everything an Apple Watch 5 or Series 4 would have, and it's so much cheaper. You can still put GPS cellular on it. Um, but anyways, I got some funny random stuff on here reviews, just memes. So it's kind of just like all over the place. It's kind of like a TikTok on of YouTube right now. So I need to like really get into my tech videos. I'm going to make one on the Apple Watch later. I'm going to have the 12 Pro at, by the end of the month. So I might do a review on that. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Good morning. Um, whenever you're watching this, I really appreciate the view. I appreciate it if you like or subscribe. It's really awesome to actually finally reach 100 subscribers. Looking forward to having more.